As we wake up together this morning, chances are maybe you've already had some coffee, right? Experts estimate that about 90% of people in the U.S. have at least some caffeine every day. In small amounts, drinking coffee with caffeine has been linked to improving mood and a lowering risk of depression. Three to four cups of joe a day is also proven to lower risk of stroke and may help protect against some forms of cancer. But there's a limit to how much caffeine your body can process at once. If you have more than a safe amount, you could damage your body. Do you need one of these to get going? Do you brew a buzz in the afternoon as a perk-me-up? I love uh, cold brews. A caffeinated iced tea beverage. The FDA says that most adults can safely consume 400 milligrams of caffeine each day. That's around two to three 12-ounce cups of coffee. You can actually overdo it. Too much caffeine can hinder calcium absorption, potentially leading to osteoporosis and trigger increased heart rates, headaches, agitation, breathing problems, seizures, and even vomiting. And it turns out not all caffeinated drinks are created equally. Let's put your knowledge to the test. First, which has more caffeine? An 8-ounce cup of brewed coffee or an 8-ounce espresso? I thought it was espresso. Actually, a regular old cup of joe has more caffeine than espresso. And instant coffee has less than both. Next up, teas. Which one packs more of a punch, black or green? Usually green tea, I would, I would guess. Black tea has almost double the caffeine compared to green tea. And now for the energy drinks. They're full of caffeine, right? Well, actually, an energy drink in a can has about 79 milligrams of caffeine. That's less than a cup of coffee, but an energy shot can pack a whopping 200 milligrams. Now, many drugs interact with caffeine. For example, uh, combining caffeine with ephedrine, often found in decongestants, could raise your risk of serious issues like high blood pressure. Theophylline, a medication for opening airways, has similar effects to caffeine, so taking them together might intensify side effects. Even herbal supplement echinacea, sometimes used for colds, may increase the caffeine levels in your blood and increase heart rates. How well, much Bruce, caffeine um, uh, coffee do you use each day? I'm not really enjoying this cup of coffee as much anymore. Did I get the fun that? out of it? So, you know, so the reality is, when I was a kid, I worked in morning radio. and I, I actually started when I was like 14 and a half or 15. Uh -huh. I used to drink pots and pots of coffee. And for the longest time, I just swore off coffee. But I had an earring and ponytail back then, too. Now I barely <laughs> have like enough to hair to cover that. the pole in the back of my head. You know what? I just, I mean, I think it's important. Like, if you do shift work, you mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. You've got to have that cup of coffee to keep mm -hmm. you going. But I just love the you whole... You said shift work, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure. I said shift, yes. Oh, thank okay. you. I'd like to come back and work here again. Um, but I love the whole yeah. experience, the smell of the coffee, mm -hmm. the routine. It kind of it kind of gets you going. Yeah, I have maybe one cup every couple of days and, mm. and maybe a cup at a nice restaurant with a good dessert occasionally. But mm. I'm not a big coffee drinker anymore. Last sip this morning yeah. after uh, hearing that. Bruce. Yeah, Christy has a cup All every right. morning. 